Hey everyone, just thought I'd do a quick overview of this camera vault case for the Autel X-Star Premium that I just got. I've been using the standard case for about four months now and it's a pretty awesome case, but I wanted a little more room for the inside for my uh, for my tablet and whatnot. So, you can see the size difference here. It only adds a few inches to the one side. Pretty close in height. This is a wheeled case. Overall sturdy case. It looks like it's actually the same case that are used on a couple other brands, which is a seahorse case. Seems pretty solid. I'll show you the handle here. So this has a side handle, top handle, and there's also a nice little handle on the back. If you're someone that likes to just pull it behind you, it's got a lock mechanism here. Sorry about that. It just locks into place. You just unlock it. Press it back down in. I guess that's a nice little feature. Now we'll open up the inside of the standard case. I'm sure everyone knows exactly what the inside's like, but pretty decent for room. I guess if you really wanted, you could try to squeeze a tablet in here and get rid of the manual, but I like to keep all that with me. Ample room for four batteries and all your cables and props. Nice and sturdy, which this is far better than anything you get with any other drone, so that's a bonus. So I'll get the other case open here and show you the insert. I should mention this case can be picked up on Amazon or I think I've seen it on Carolina Drones. On Amazon right now it's at $169 which I got a little lower of a price. Someone local in Michigan here had, had it. It was practically new. So I ended up getting a deal on it. I figured I'd try it out for the price. Now this does have some little turn locks like all the seahorse cases do. And you also have the holes for padlocks on both sides. There's a single layer of foam on the top. Which I've seen a couple other brands that use this same exact case have a nice insert up here that when you pull the foam down, there are actually inserts for the extra pops, which would have been cool. But they didn't do that on this one. Okay, so, let's see plenty of space. Got a dedicated tablet slot here. The only thing I'm a little confused about looking around, not too positive what these holes are for. But pull this out. You can see where the feet of the drone sit. These are all removable as well. you'll never really have to remove, but if you ever need to clean it out. As you can see, the controller fits in here pretty snug. Just slowly drop it in. It fits in there nice. Now this is one of the only things I did not like about this case. As you can see, the original case bottom of the battery slides right in there firmly does not move whatsoever however in this one as you can see we've got a little bit of play going on there I'm not sure if that will really affect that much by the time it's sitting down in there but I just kind of wish that it didn't have as much play you got room for five batteries here as for the drone itself this was one thing that I was possibly concerned about the drone sits this way. As you can see, there's little recesses for the feet in there. The gimbal lock is on. When you actually set it in, it actually does not sit down into the cutout very much, which isn't a huge deal. However, I don't think you can really see that down in here, but 
when the feet sit down in those slots, the gimbal rests on this foam a tad bit. I'm not sure if that'll really be anything bad over time, but it is something I figured I should mention. But it does sit in there nicely. And this is a props on case, which I'll throw the props on and show you in a second here. Alright, so you can see you got the props on. There's plenty of clearance. Even with the remote here, it completely clears it. Got plenty of room for the battery here. And just closes right down perfectly. So, plenty of clearance for that. Works as it should. I'm actually not too sure with how high this is how much the foam is really touching the props but I would assume it's probably just making enough contact to keep the drone steady in there with the props on and also shield tablet here it actually has a slightly tight fit into the slot but it does fit I would imagine iPad would probably fit a little better a little more slim but it does slide in there which that's a bonus. That's one of the reasons I actually wanted this. We'll get some more accessories in here so you guys can see everything fits. Alright, got this case emptied out. So you can see everything's out. Able to fit your charger and your cord in one pocket. Actually, you can leave your tablet sticking up a bit if it's a little tighter. It's a little easier to get out. These slots easily fit extra micro SD cards. You want to shove some in there? We got my camera filters, which it looks like if you have the right ones, you'd probably be able to slide them in this one here. But my case is a little wider. Mm -hmm. Plenty of space. All your tools. Micro SD. I was able to slide my extra props and my manual back in there and my lanyard. So, yeah, seems like a very nice case. So hopefully, if you had any questions on this case, this answered them. If not, feel free to ask me.